What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now we're gonna be talking about the no money spent way of making millions. A lot of you guys that are no money spent, you guys are really starting to understand the way Madden 24 is. I want you guys to thoroughly understand this though. There is no trade block. So I want you guys to keep the gold cards. Like there's gonna be certain gold cards that are probably gonna be more lucrative as we go on with the season. And many people will not be able to get it. So these are things that you have to pay attention to because if you go ahead right now and you just start making all kinds of sets and you don't pay attention to the specifics, we don't know what cards are going to be needed, but we know that Team Diamonds are going to be here soon. We know that there's other promos coming. And based on the way that Madden 23 ended, Madden 24 is most likely going to be giving us content all the way throughout. So you have to pay attention to these things from the early part of the game. Now remember, there are a lot of legends being released. There's a lot of things that are going on. Uh, there's a weekly situation where you're able to go ahead and get these legend tokens. This is going to be very, very lucrative. Don't pay attention to the fact that it was glitched out before. It looks like they updated it and they fixed it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is make sure that you're keeping up to date with these legend tokens because once you redeem it, that legend that you're going to get is going to be auctionable. That's what they said early on. So we'll see. I'm going to actually go check it because um, it looks like... Uh, the way that they have it in there, um, it actually tells you in the set. So I wanna go ahead and verify that because I believe when they were announcing it that they did say it was auctionable, but we could always go to the set and look. Okay, Legends Token Exchange, let's see what it says because it should tell you right there. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't say anything about B and D. All right, it's a fantasy pack that contains your choice of any one champion overall legend. So as long as it doesn't say B and D anywhere on it, this will be auctionable. I just wanted to point this out and you should have seven right now right in the chat right now so i can see how many guys are grinding how many of those tokens you actually have right now all right so you guys want to know what people have been doing right the number one thing is this right house rules has been a money maker okay now if you still can't get into house rules after the maintenance that's a problem if you guys follow me on twitter you know i was also locked out of it so i had a lot of issues with getting the rewards many of you guys have responded and said yo g i got my rewards thank you for going ahead and posting and calling these things out i will always do that for my community and that's for everybody even the people that i have banned on the channel or whatever you guys all just you know you guys deserve to have the content work well you just you know like sometimes ea sports is doing whatever ea wants to do so look this is one of the things I wanted to talk about, right? Because I stopped doing house rules right at this point. They gave me the 84 B and D. They gave me the 80 plus overall headliners, right? So what I did uh, at, after I got to this point with the 10,000 coins, I stopped because it became more lucrative to just got, you know grind the regular game to go after some of the rewards that you get with the regular field pass. But the, uh, the rewards that we got, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing with it, okay? A lot of the cards that you get from house rules they're low level, like 80, 84s, whatever. And then as you continue to play through the game with the challenges uh, that were available, that they dropped today, including um, some of the ones that they gave you before, you will be able to get a free 85 overall player, which I'm gonna show you right here. And you get all these other packs. So 74 plus, 74 plus, 80 plus, all that stuff. And then you get that Jalen Watson. Now, I wanted to be able to use that Jalen Watson, but he's garbage, all right? If he's on a theme team, he's probably usable, but he's not usable for me. So we're gonna focus on these packs and what you should do with these 74 plus, the 80 plus, and you know, continue to do that. Now, with all of the things that you're gonna make, cause we're gonna focus in on that. So let me know if you finish your forge. If you finish the forge, then you can just go ahead and follow the rest of this video. If you did not, you need to grind through it and get it done. There is that one challenge in the legends though. Um, if you guys did the legends also, that is a nightmare. Okay, I wanna just point that out with the Cam Chancellor with two hit sticks. I did that live. I don't recommend that to anyone. That challenge was crazy. So let's go right here real quick. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the objectives of the Legends and I'm gonna go over the uh, the headliner situation. Now, one of the things that you guys may have noticed uh, with the way that this is, I don't think that this updated because I didn't get anything this week. All right, it, I, it didn't update. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they didn't update it. This is also a heavy uh, coin maker. I just wanted to point that out as well before we get back to the headliners because a lot of you guys tweeted me that you pulled the highest 87 of last week. I don't know why they did it and didn't repeat it every week. Maybe it's a once, you know, just to kind of get started up thing, but I did get questions about that, you know, that field pass. I just wanted to touch base on that. Now, the headliners with the objectives, you should be able to complete it with what they gave you. Uh, with the additional things that were available as far as the objectives. When we make 13 more field goals, all of our rewards will be in, all right? And you'll get another 84 overall player that's auctionable, 
okay? So all I gotta do is go and go make field goals and I'll be good. There is a challenge that somebody messaged me about um, that you just kick it at the beginning. I think it's Franco Harris's challenge where you just got to kick a field goal in the legends So I'll get that done and that's another free card that we're gonna use as currency as well So now that you know everything about the field passes and you're up to date with everything We're gonna go over to the sets because this is where the money is made. All right all of those garbage 74s uh, well, the 74 plus cards and you know, oh the 80s or whatever it is you're gonna focus down here Okay now Remember this, and, and this is something that's very, very important, right? You don't have to use those cards to do anything with the headliners, all right? Because most of these cards are not really selling crazy like that. You can always go and open the programs to all and see exactly what else those 74s go into. In this situation, look at these. This is very important that you look at this, right? Why am I focused in on 82 to 83s? I know you guys are gonna know what's going on right here with all the cards that go into the 80 to 81s, 80, 82 to 83s, and the 84 to 85s. Why would I be concerned with this? I'm concerned with this because I can use those lower level cards that I got for free. Also, this all, all the other BS gold cards that we get for playing the Super Bowl and all that stuff, and we can make these 80 to 81s and the 82 to 83s. What are we then doing with them? What have I been doing with them? Okay, this is what I've been doing with them to make coins as a no money spent player. I've been using these guys in these lower level sets and I've been jumping all over the team build a fantasy pack, okay? It's always gonna come back to how you can make that. Making any of these cards, which are the actual, you know, the headliners from those cards that you get for free, is pretty much useless because these sets require too much. So you're not focused in on making these. These don't make money. This right here makes money. All your free low level cards, right? Once you get all the 78s, like you get a bunch of 78s from just playing the legend challenges, which is why I showed you guys that. And then you got the low level goals. This is where you make the 80s and you make the 82s. Now look, this is where it gets more interesting. And like I said, when I do that, the, the, the method that I'm doing right now, because I was able to get a lot of these cards for free, I'm usually netting 100% profit. Because you go through the, uh, the you know the uh, house rules, you go through the challenges, you get all these 70s, you get all these 80s, you go through you know you play the season, you play the regular uh, you know season level, you get free packs from that, all that stuff, you get a lot of goals out of it. Once you start getting it and you start making all the cards that go into this, all of it is 100% profit. So right now, you guys might be like, okay, so gee, which card is like the best team builder? What have I been doing? I've been still doing that offensive lineman, that left guard for the Raiders. He's been outrageous. Also, there's another thing, right? You see like this 84 right here, uh, Jordan Love? A lot of people are using his card. I don't really know what's going on with them. A lot of people are like, yo, he's pretty good. I'm not getting him. I got Warren Moon right now, so I'm gonna check out what he's doing. But I don't really know about that. But if you wanted to go ahead, uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys, if you wanted to feel lucky and you wanted to make 84 overall head, uh, you know, headliners, which I still don't recommend because these cards are better used in the regular elites, you can go ahead and do that. I wouldn't recommend it because you're losing a lot doing this set. This is a really, really bad set to make the 84s. I just wanted to point that out. So getting back to the, um, the auction house, right? When we go over here and we start checking everything out and we see what's going on in there, when you go over to the team builders, okay, the team builder sets are going to be um, more of the play. It's gonna start off like with like the lower level dudes and then it's gonna go to the higher level, right? So the 125, it is what it is. Um, when you go over to the teams and you start looking through it, this is where it gets a little bit more involved. Now this guy has dropped down to 125, but you can see as you go up, you got players that are doing what I do. I put it up for eight hours at like 160 and it sells by the next morning. That's what I do. All right, now go through the other theme teams, the Niners, whoever it is, but this is a very, like he's he's pretty much up there as well. These teams, people are making a lot of Niner theme teams, um, even with the Seahawks. The Seahawks guy, you know, he's still up there. I go through this every single time that I do a team builder and I make sure that I'm making at least 160. So in this case, I would make one of the 49ers and put them up for eight hours and see how that works out for me off of what I get from just doing those challenges and the house rules, right? So let's go over there and do that now. I'm gonna grab this 
all right? We're gonna redeem this because now you understand you're not using those headliner players for headliners. You are using those players to put into the regular elite set and you're making team builders. Now, don't exhaust and use all of them though, all right? Don't use all of them because like I said, you gotta be careful. We don't know when they're gonna drop, you know, the new play. We don't know when they're gonna drop Team Diamonds. And you may need some of these cards. So try to hold off on it unless you absolutely 100% need it. Now look, you see the last the last time he sold was 176? We're gonna put him up for like 172 for eight hours. And just chill. Because people are going to buy him because this theme team is going crazy. Right, The Niners theme team is going absolutely nuts. So that's why people are buying it. You can look at the time of this video and see what is most lucrative to you, or you could drop it in the comment section for what is the best team builder to use. But my primary focus is making sure you guys understand what to do with those trash cards that you earn for free in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. As always, if you have any other questions or comments, hit me up, let me know what you're trying to figure out, and I got you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, one love, y'all.